Right then, back with some Battlefield 4 today. We're gearing up for that 2042 beta that's still supposedly happening in September. We are halfway through September now, so um, where is it? <laughs> I'd like to know. Oh, check this out. Get him on the ladder. Nice. Love the G18 and BF4. Best sidearm in my opinion. Oh. Miss? No way. Okay, we got him. I thought for certain that would be a headshot. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. 164. Yes! What? Oh, for God's sake. Dice, please. Sorry about that. Take two. Here we go. Battlefield 4. We're playing some so that we can be ready for the Battlefield 2042 Alpha. Beta. Beta. Could be an Alpha. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to uh, some Battlefield 4 sniping here today. I wanted to play on Flood Zone. It's actually one of the maps that I really enjoy playing, but um, we'll play on uh, Lost Islands instead. This is the server that was, you know, available for me to play on after I fixed my Punk Buster issue. It seems that uh, installing BF4 on my uh, new PC, it hadn't set up Punk Buster properly, but um, never mind. We're here now, and that, that's all that matters. We're here to help the team. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to um, talk to you guys. Ooh. See if we can get this guy. Yes, got the kill. Nearly got killed by an incoming rocket, wherever that came from. But uh, just really wanted to talk to you guys about the uh, the 2042 beta because I'm sure, like me, you uh, you want to know where it is. And it it's been a while since we've heard anything. And you know, we were told it was coming in September, and it probably still will. But um, you know, we've had a bit of radio silence from DICE for the, since the um, the Exodus uh, thing, the Exodus short film that they did. I think it's concerning some people, and, you know, I can understand that concern. I just sort of wanted to, to talk about that, really, because I think it's kind of, um, it's an interesting topic to discuss, because different people have, you know, different expectations in the, uh, in the community about, you know, conversation and stuff like that. And because I've taken such a long break from Battlefield and having stepped back from it, I'm still really not fully deep back into that community yet. Um, so I'm still sort of like looking out from afar. In my opinion, I think a lot of people are getting really frustrated because nothing's being said. And I can totally understand that. But from my point of view, I think that's kind of exciting. I quite like the fact that nobody's saying anything because when the beta does eventually drop... I think we're all going to be really excited and we're going to jump straight into it and we're just going to be able to have some fun. There's barely any preconceptions there. So it's going to be a lot more surprising for everybody, I think. I think the most obvious reason why people are a little bit frustrated at the lack of communication is that people are taking that to mean that things aren't going very well with the de development of Battlefield 2042. And, well, you know, there's a little bit of evidence to support that, really. Earlier on this year... EA did bring in Criterion Games to help develop 2042 alongside Ripple Effect, previously Dice LA, and Dice Stockholm as well. So there's an entire third development team there. And there's also, I think, EA Gothenburg and then Industrial Toys are working on the Battlefield mobile game. But they're all sort of collaborating and, and working together. When you bring on another development team, that does tend to mean that you're trying to get the thing across the line. And it's ne it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It just may mean that there's more work to be done and the, the deadlines that EA have set, they don't want to push back. There is quite a lot riding on 2042. It's basically the flagship next generation game that EA are making, apart from their sports games, obviously. But they basically push back their whole product lineup an entire year from 2020 into 2021. And, and Battlefield is pretty much the showpiece of that. So yeah, I can totally understand why people are a bit frustrated with the lack of communication. And usually at this point, we know when the beta is going to happen. And if you look at previous Battlefield games, the beta has tended to happen in early September. We are now in mid-September and nothing has really changed at the moment. So yeah, I totally understand why people are getting a little bit frustrated. But I really don't think it's worth getting frustrated because what what we're going to get to play I think will be something that you need to have no preconceptions of if you go in frustrated that you think that the marketing hasn't been good enough and the developers haven't said anything on social media for a few weeks you're going to go in with a slightly negative mindset and I was guilty of doing that for the Battlefield 5 beta 
um, you're going to see some absolutely terrible sniping here whilst I adjust to the uh, the SRR sniper. But um, I went into the Battlefield 5 beta with a very negative mindset because of what had happened in the marketing campaign for that game. We all know what happened with Battlefield 5. The whole, the whole picture that DICE and EA painted. It wasn't really a picture that I think anybody liked that much. And so I went in with that negative mindset and, and already all those feelings of well, this is not really going to be a great game. Maybe it's not for me. I, I already had so much information. I thought about it so much. I was already telling myself this wasn't going to be particularly good. And um, that that was something that I shouldn't have done. And you need to give it a fair shot, really. There's something that keeps cropping up in my head. And I think I heard it from another YouTube channel a few years ago. But it's it's the phrase, expectation is the thief of joy. And that just simply means what it says on the tin. If you have expectations of something, whatever they might be, they will rob you of the excitement and happiness of that final thing when it turns up. Because it won't be exactly what you think it is. And so I'm trying to adopt that in almost everything that I do now. I try not to have preconceived notions of what something is going to be before it arrives. Because then when it does arrive, I can evaluate it exactly as it is, as it stands, for what it is. And I'm not judging it on some kind of weird, inflated version that I had in my head. I've got nothing to compare it to, apart from previous experiences. So in the case of 2042, I'll, I'll compare it to Battlefield 5, 1, Battlefield 4. And, you know, that that's a good way to experience it because you're using something that already exists. But if you've got a vision of something in your mind, it's always going to be artificially inflated or artificially undercalculated because you haven't made it. Someone else has made it, so there's no way for you to know what it's going to be like until it arrives. And so for 2042, I think... I'm not trying to tell you what to think. You can think whatever you want, but I, I do see a lot of negativity at the moment in the community. And, and perhaps some of it is justified. I don't know. I mean, from my point of view, I don't really think any of it is justified. Like, if you're going... If you're being critical and starting to, you know, get into the point where you're pointing fingers at certain people, I mean, that's just stupid playing video games at the end of the day. Video games are supposed to be fun. I said that in my last Battlefield video. But if you're getting to the point where you think, oh, it's not going so well because I haven't heard anything, well, just take a step back and understand the situation we're in. We're still in a global pandemic. The developers are working from home. They've had to brought in, bring in a new development team to help them get the game across the line. There are certain factors that you can take into the situation already. But just because we haven't heard anything, that doesn't automatically mean it's going to be bad. It could be bad. It could be good. We don't know, but I think it would be much healthier for everybody if we all just went into this situation without those preconceived ideas in our head that we've created based on the very little to no information that we've got. Which is why I'm just trying to sort of step back and just be like, just waiting for, for the beta to turn up. And it will turn up at some point. It doesn't matter how long it is. It doesn't matter if it's so close to the final game or if it's an older build. To me, it doesn't really matter. I'm just looking forward to the game. I want to be able to play it with my friends and just enjoy it for what it is. Without me thinking that it's going to be something else and then being disappointed when it doesn't reach those expectations. I mean, that's just that's just where I sit, really. I've tried to sort of do that for the last 18 months. Obviously, switching my channel away from Battlefield and to Warzone and now starting to come back to Battlefield again. That, for me, was a very conscious choice. And having gone away and played Warzone, pretty much just jumping in and playing it for what it was. I didn't really pay too much attention to the first couple of weeks when it came out. I jumped in about, I think, two and a half weeks after it came out. My friends were already playing it. That made it an easy transition. But I didn't really know much about it. And I just sort of had to learn and pick things up along the way. And I hadn't sat there and nitpicked on all these tiny little things that, ultimately, by the time the game comes out and you start playing it, they really don't matter. It, it really doesn't. And it's just put things into perspective for me. Because it's been able... It, in sitting back and not getting so tightly strung into all of those details. For me, I've spent the last 18 months chilling out a lot more. And I've had a lot more fun playing games. Which I think is why I want to do this moving forward into 2042. I just want to play the beta. I just want to have fun with my friends. Experience what DICE have created. Then when the beta goes away, it's probably only going to be a few weeks until the game launches again. And that, for me, will just create a little bit more excitement because I'll be ready. I'll be ready to play that game when it comes out. 
And I've avoided all of those leaks and rumors and tiny little bits of detail and all the people on Twitter just saying like, oh, because they haven't said anything, it's automatically bad. Doesn't mean that at all. So I've avoided all of that. And I'm in a much better situation for it. And I think a lot of other people might be able to say the same thing. But I just see so much of this general negativity because nothing has been said. I just don't really think it's justified. But yeah, I, I'm, I think the beta will probably turn up in late September now. If it hasn't turned up in middle September, it's got to be late September. There's no way that DICE are going to let it get into early October before releasing their quote-unquote beta for 2042. Because if it came that late, there's no way it's a beta. You pretty much just say it's a demo. I think probably in late September you can, you can say that it's going to be a demo. I mean, realistically, how much change are DICE going to be able to make to that product before they launch it maybe not too much they might be able to make some minor tweaks here and there things that are easy to change but you know if there's something bigger that needs to be i like switched around or identified or something like that and realistically that's going to come in a patch probably a couple of months after launch because it's going to take a while for the dev team to turn something like that around um so but that's again that's part of the reason why i don't want to get too annoyed about it because i know the further we get towards the end of september the more representative that beta demo is going to be of the final product. But in general, I'm just really, really excited for 2042. The beta will turn up when it turns up. And I think everybody could just, uh, you know, just calm down, just settle, just wait, just wait. As <laughs> why you have to be mad. Uh, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed some of my terrible sniping in Battlefield 4 today. As I'm still look showing here. Look how terrible I am. I just can't get used to the slower bullet velocity, but um, I think we end up just about winning this game. We capture all of the conquest points towards the end of the match. But I've kind of just made this island here my uh, my little home for uh, the last sort of several minutes of the video. I think I get some good kills here. We get this guy as well. We do get that guy as well. That makes me happy. But yeah, I want to play some more BF4 before um, the 2042 beta turns up. And actually... I'm working with Alienware over the next month or so, which is they're the big uh, the big sponsor that are coming in to do the giveaway, by the way. So um, I'm going to do a couple more BF4 videos uh, that will be sponsored by Alienware. And then into the into the Battlefield 2042 beta, there will be several videos sponsored by Alienware. And then maybe a couple after because I'll probably be playing the beta for as much as I can. I'll have plenty of footage saved up of, of me probably playing solo, playing with some of my friends and... Just trying to, like I say, just experience the game and, and have fun with it. But thanks very much for watching, guys. Appreciate you all watching through till the end. And I'll catch you all in the next one.